Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our permadeath playthrough. And in the last episode, we built our hyperdrive. Now we are getting more fuel, but next we have to go into space and see what is going on. So let's jump into it. And before I forget, I always forget to say this. Hit that like button for me down below. And if you're not subscribed, it's the first video you're seeing. Hit subscribe down there for me because I make a lot of No Man's Sky videos and the more people are subscribed, the more YouTube shares my videos out there. So if you want to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me. Let's see what we're supposed to do. Wait, we make sure we have our, uh, okay, awakenings is highlighted. If you don't have your current mission highlighted, for whatever reason, the game doesn't like to do anything with it. Oh, there it is. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm, and it's blank. Okay. You left me. Why did you? Um, I didn't leave you. What's going on? Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd. Just like all the others. Um, who are you? There is no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. So where is this person at? Or this alien at? Oh. There are the coordinates. There's the, uh, there's my answer. So let's go see what, what's going on. Almost there. And I have a feeling we're not going to find anyone here. Oh, okay. This looks like a, what is that? There's something built here? Someone's base? I literally, they marked someone's base. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this. Is this my base? No, it's some random person's base in, in uh, Permadeath. <laughs> I love that. Are you kidding? That is crazy. Okay. Well, let's go see what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, we, let's fix that with chromatic metal. And this one was sodium. Oh. Let's actually fix it. All right. Buzzing, buzzing. There are no signs of life. There's only a static of a broken communicator. Technically, there's signs of life. There's a base right here. <laughs> let's extract the records. I have never had a base at the coordinates you're supposed to go to. That's pretty awesome. Whatever message was once here here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract from is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. I have a pulse spitter now, yeah. I still, I cannot believe, I randomly started a permadeath save, following the story, and we run into someone else's base. Zerath, if you're watching the channel, or if you find this in the future, that is insane. Randomly ran into your base out here, dude. That is so awesome. I can't believe that. Well, let's pick up this uh, ship since it's a free one. All crashed ships are free. You just have to fix all the, the stuff on the inside. But we don't need to do that. We could literally just go to the space station and sell this baby if we wanted to. Let's claim it. So this is our current ship now, but eh. But you know what? We could technically go do that. So let's go sell this thing once we fix it. So we need to make metal plating, and we also need to make a hermetic seal, but we need condensed carbon. That's going to be the issue. So, we still need metal plating for the condensed carbon anyway, or for the, uh, thing. Oh yeah, we're at a base, duh! I can't go anywhere and do anything, we gotta move away from it. There we go. Finally! We're gonna put some carbon in here. And we're gonna... Condense some of our carbon. Oh, yeah, we have a stack of 200 we could do that with. Yes. 
I'm gonna take my uh, carbon and get the heck out of Dodge. This is Sentinel's hate. Don't don't look at me, buddy. I don't know what's going on here. Let's go back. Now we can make a hermetic seal. Oh yeah, we can make a hermetic seal. And we need two platings. Or just one plating. We'll go with one for now. I think we only need one, but maybe we need two. I don't want to make too much stuff because we don't have a lot of room in our inventory. So uh, I don't want to overload myself right now, especially on permadeath. So now that we have our items, let's fix this thing. I know. Oh, we have both parts. Both repaired. Yes. Oh, we need to fix our thruster too. Need dihydrogen jelly. Can we make that? Of course we can't. Man, I didn't pay attention to the thruster at all. Well, what what else do we need before I get out of here? I think we only need to repair the thruster and the pulse engine. So I need dihydrogen. Oh, and there's a sentinel right there. Hey, buddy, go away so I can get that dihydrogen, man. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Let me go find some more. Oh, yeah, we, we forgot to check these little boxes. Never know what you're going to get in there. I know, no, no. Come on, let's do it. Done, done. So now, okay, perfect. Now all we have to do is go to the space station. And this is actually a good thing because it's a hauler. So because it's a hauler, it's actually will be worth more than a normal ship. Oh, good lord. Okay. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Uh, yeah, I would just talk to Artemis. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard. Yes, a proper introduction to our home. Oh, there's the space anomaly. Yeah, you see it for the first time, but we need to get rid of this uh, this hauler that we're uh, in currently because this thing is a piece of junk. So let's go to the space station. That way we can trade this thing out and then we'll come back to the space anomaly. So there are a couple things you can do with this ship. What you can do is you can scrap it and get all the junk from it or you can just trade it for another ship. Now, this thing is worth five million when it's working. It's broken, so you're not going to be able to trade up for as much. But we can glitch it out. I might actually do that to make some money early on. The problem with glitching it out is you need a lot of room for that. Because you're going to get a lot of parts. And if you don't have everything ready to go, you can lose a lot of stuff. So let's see if we can actually trade for i mean that's a good one right here c class as well but that's my hauler but this ship is totally working and has no broken parts in it let's see can i get it without making or using any of my money uh, it still costs me two million my ship is only worth one million five hundred okay so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a ship that is 1 million or less. That's 445,000. Eh. 346 minutes later. Well, everyone, the game crashed on me while I was doing the, uh, the ship glitch. And so once you reload your save, you cannot actually do the ship glitch anymore. And I had to reload my save. And because permadeath is a, a single save thing, you can't go back to a, a manual save or anything like that. You only have one save and they erase it. So we're just gonna scrap this one, get our money from it, our million. And we'll go back to our original starship, take our million. What the, our inventory is full, awesome. So we should have enough of room now. So let's go try that again. Man, I was scrapping for a while too, you guys. I spent a good 20 minutes. I was trying to get up to $20 million and uh, 
I was close. I think I was at like 14 or 15 and then the game just crashed. I couldn't believe it. So that's okay. Yes, claim it. So we're gonna get our upgrades that we could just sell, make some nanites on. We're gonna purchase, but instead we'll go to the cell. Okay, sell right here. And let's see what he has. What do you got here for me technology wise? Get any good upgrades? Toxic. Oh, movement module. We can probably use one of those. Oh, shield module. Oh, man. I wish I could afford that. That's okay. Can't afford it now, but we will be able to in the future. So let's drop off some of our uh, scrap. I was hoping that there would be a pilot here, but I guess not. It's always better to sell to the pilots because you don't interfere with the uh, economy, the local economy. But since we don't have any pilots around, I'm sure they're landing right now because they know I'm going to sell here. But okay. All right. So now we're up to 2 million units. And we started that with what? 400,000? So, oh man, we got a lot of activated copper. Oh. And regular copper, but activated copper is better for upgrading or uh, fixing crashed ships. If we ever find one we want to keep, we can use that activated copper on it. Let's get in here. I know, Journey st Milestone Tycoon, I'm making tons of money here. But now we actually have to go to the space anomaly so let's go talk to nada priest nada you guys don't even know the original anomaly was so crazy like you couldn't call it in it was a random occurrence that would happen once in a while and you had to remember where the anomaly was which system it was in and it wasn't this big it was literally like a room or two actually i think it was two because you also had the room where uh, artemis would be Spoiler alert. Hey, you traitor. Sorry. If you guys played the uh, the multiplayer, the uh, weekend events, you would know what I meant by that. Let's talk to Priest Nada. I am Priest Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home is... Our, our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design, a perfect bubble. Beyond the Sentinels, beyond our vengeful Corvax, be not a watch's time come and go. What about Artemis? Uh, a traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us. Highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their mental shell or the metal shell. Well, okay, what are you? Who are you? What is going on with you? Nada awoke with the death of the Corvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The conversions do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. How many, uh, now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada is happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. What about Polo? Polo friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. This station has been calling to me since I awoke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. So what's going on with this space station? Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada to observe and to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Okay. Speak with Polo, friend, Traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Let's talk to Polo. Friends everywhere, if only you knew where to look. Friends in all shapes, in all sizes, in all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. 
does not seem possible, but all things are possible, such as the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal and always a trace. Well, how are you going to find Artemis? I couldn't even find him. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting. Yes, okay. <laughs> like, are you just messing with me, Polo? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with the other friends. We all help each other here. Now, this is what you really need to do when you first get to the anomaly. They want you to walk around and talk to the other uh, travelers on the anomaly. Because once you do that, you'll be able to call the anomaly in whenever you need to. Once you've done your tour of the place. So let's talk to Helios. Is this Helios, right? Yep. He's my favorite. Groot. Ah, young one. You still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time in reality is long past, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Here, yeah, I'll give you my data on planets. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. Give me nanites. I just earned some nanites for giving them stuff. Learn new technology blueprints. Well, let's do it. I don't think I have any salvage data. But maybe. Oh, I can buy some... Uh, I can buy an exosuit slot as well. Let's do that first. Exosuit upgrade. Yes. Let's get some more room in my inventory. Of course. To 20,000. Ooh. They're starting to get expensive. Traveler nude. Your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. So now we can learn different upgrades. We need to do this in order to complete the tutorial on the anomaly. So let's just get the uh, let's get the gauntlet. That's easy enough. There we go. That should be done. Browse the array array of base parts. Okay, let's do it. I can't get anything because I have no salvage data, but I'm going to flip through some of the pages just to kind of go through the tutorial. Okay, done. And now speak to Nada about Artemis. I already did that, but let's go back. Now that we've talked to everybody. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. What am I supposed to do? Traveler Entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis Entity. Explore with others. Travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, Traveler Entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also. Even if you seek the Crimson Lair. Um. Eh, ask for help with exploration. Of course. Nada will mark your map with a great wonder. But take your time with your journey. Find your pattern. Speak to others on this station. They have things to offer you also. Return to us whenever you please, Traveler Entity. You are always welcome here. So now he's marked a... I believe he marked a, our first black hole or our first atlas seed. So that's where we're going to leave it. Actually, you know what? Let's go and search for clues among the stars about Atlas or Artemis. Let's go do that, because that should mark where we should go next. Where's my... Oh, man, my ship is... Oh, I should have went down the other staircase. Dang it! I got turned around. I didn't know where to go. Let's get in here. And once we get into space, it should have, we should get to receive a call from Artemis. Here we go. Artemis! Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside. Something's wrong with... What's, what's going on, Artemis? I asked the stranger what is wrong. There is a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. 
You, you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? I found your ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Uh, where are you? What about 16? Yeah, what is going on with 16? I fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? It lied to me. It lied to all of us. The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent, before it too fades into nothingness. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Alright, base computer online, archives available. So we need to go to a base computer and figure out blueprints for building some way to magnify his signal. So we're going to stop it there, you guys. Hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I will see you guys next time.